Okay, so now that we have worked on most of the third round, which is an alternate between the cluster of four, a uh, cluster of six and cluster of four, now we reach the end one. So now here we're going to form a cluster of four to close it. So insert your left string to this one adjacent bead here, and also the one next to it. And you're just gonna close it with one bead. So we're gonna select up with one bead and we're gonna form the fourth round which is consisting of okay so now we have that so the fourth round consists of clusters of six that will fold as we go around here so what you need to do since we're here on this cluster of four we're gonna install I'm gonna insert a left string to that one adjacent bead. This is a little bit tricky, so please uh, pay attention. So, since we inserted the left string to this one adjacent bead here, we're gonna insert the right string to the one adjacent to it, just this one, so that so that our string will be coming out from uh, from three beads okay this is one two and third bead here so here is where we're gonna form a cluster of six so to start off put two yellow beads on the right string and select up with the with the yellow bead to form our first cluster of six okay so now we're working on the next cluster of six so we're gonna insert our string to the three adjacent beads one two and third okay so here's where we're gonna form a cluster of six again so put one yellow bead on the right and then select up with the yellow bead. So this is going to fold. As you can see it is folding already. So we're just going to continue on. We're going to insert the left string to the three adjacent beads. And then put one bead on the right and then select up with the yellow bead. And we're just gonna work on it around and don't be afraid if it's a little bit loose because it will tighten as you go. Just make sure that you tighten the tension once in a while. So now we have three clusters of six. So we're just gonna work on it four more times and I'm gonna show you how to close it, okay? Guys, okay, so now that we have worked on most for the fourth round, you will see that it is now folding. We have worked on seven clusters of six for that fourth round. So now we're in the last part of it. It's okay if it's a little bit loose. You should just tighten it as you go. So since we're here, we're in the last uh, cluster of six. So what you need to do is, we're gonna insert the left string through the three adjacent yellow beads. And also for the next one to it. And then we're just gonna select up uh, with one yellow bead uh, to end or to close the fourth round so here is where we're gonna work on clusters of four up so there's going to be one two three four five six seven eight beads there 
on that circle so now we're going to work on the stem of the base so you can incorporate designs here like this one you can put this design here and it is made out of clusters of four we're gonna form one two three four clusters of four up so to start off since we're here we're gonna put uh two yellow beads on the right string and then silica up with a yellow bead and just work around all of those eight beads for the middle part okay so that's our first cluster of four next we're gonna insert our string through this one adjacent yellow bead and form our second cluster of four which is putting one bead on the right string and salik up with the one with the yellow bead and you're just going to work in it around so as to form the fifth round insert your left string to this one adjacent yellow bead Put one yellow bead on the right thing and then salik up with the yellow bead. Okay? Then you're just gonna repeat this four times and I'm gonna catch up with you right before we close this fifth round. Okay? Okay, so now that we have formed the seven clusters of four around that middle part there, we're now in the last uh, cluster of four for the fifth round. We're gonna insert the string to this one adjacent yellow bead and also the one next to it. And here is where we're going to salik up with one yellow bead. And we're just gonna work on three more rows of cluster of four. I'm gonna let you do that so now we have closed that first or the fifth round so for the sixth and the seventh round we're just gonna work on clusters of four so to start off we're gonna put two beads on the right and then silica up with a yellow bead okay and you can do it on your own now working on clusters of four around for two more rounds and i'm gonna catch up with you for the eighth round okay after we have formed those so what you need to do is just make uh two more rows of clusters of four and i'm gonna catch up with you for the fourth cluster of four okay Alright guys, so now we're closing our 7th round. So my string is getting short now. So I would suggest that you cut your string for a little bit higher than 2 meters. Or maybe 2 meters of uh, string length. So we're gonna close this 7th round now. So insert your string through this one adjacent bead and also the one next to it. And then just leak up with one yellow bead and then for the eighth round we're just gonna incorporate another color so that it will have some type of design so what we need to do is we're gonna put one yellow one on the on the right string then a blue one then we're gonna select up with a yellow bead and that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the clusters of four around for this eighth round so insert your string to that one adjacent bead. Put one blue one on the right string and silica up with the yellow one. And just work on it around. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass through my string to a series of beads and then I'm gonna put another set of string because this is short now. 
So this is the eighth round of our vase, and the next round is gonna be the last. It's gonna be the last round, which is composed of clusters of five. So I'm gonna catch up with you after that, okay? Okay, so now we're going to close our eighth round. So insert your left string to this one adjacent yellow bead and also the next one to it. And then we're going to side up with a blue bead for that design. And then we're going to start the last round which is composed of clusters of five. So to start off, we're going to put uh, three yellow beads on the right string. And then silly cup with a yellow bead to start the last round. Insert your left string to that one adjacent blue bead. Uh, put two yellow beads on the right string. And silly cup with a yellow bead. And just work on it around. Insert your left string to that one adjacent blue bead. Put two yellow beads on the right string. And then silk up with the yellow bead. Then work on it four more times. Around. So it will have that type of opening. I'm get, gonna catch up with you right before we end it. Okay? okay? So now we're on our last cluster of five for the last round or the ninth round. What we need to do is insert the left string to this one adjacent blue bead. And then for the next one, which is the yellow one. And here is where we're going to close. So we're gonna silk up with uh, two beads instead of one. And we're just going to pass our string through a series of beads for about 2 to 3 inches within the beaded piece so as to fasten it off. And after passing it through several beads, we're going to cut the string and that will be our project for today. So I hope that you enjoyed uh, working on them as much as I enjoy uh, teaching them to you. If you have comments or suggestions, please put them on the comment box below. And the information for this project I will put on the description box along with other tutorials that I have made in the past. So, that is the last bits of our tutorial in making this uh, simple and small uh, beaded vase. So, thank you guys for watching. That's it for now. I forgot to mention that the dimension for this is approximately 3 inches tall. And you can use it as some type of keychain or some type of decoration to your house. Okay?